images of familial joy, the innocence and tenderness of childhood, the promise of a life brimming with possibility. Less visible in these photos, a family's heartache, a young boy's torment, and his struggle to find peace. We noticed that he started to feel sad. And at seven years old, it was really heartbreaking for us to see him sad. We had him assessed right away. The assessment came back um, with anxiety, depression, ADHD. Pablo struggled to connect with others, was frequently bullied at school, his mental health continuing to decline. Around grade seven, he started to self-harm. It had kind of upped its game. That self-hatred definitely grew and just kind of, almost like a bottle just got more and more full the more I experienced. Eventually, Pablo did try to take his life, but someone intervened. I had tried to commit suicide and they tore the blade out of my hands. The first ones could have been life ending. Uh, the nurses told us that uh, if he had have gone a little further with what he was doing, um, he probably would have passed. So it was very close. In March, Pablo again wanted to end his life. I was done living for everyone else. But Pablo, an open and ardent communicator, shared his pain and his plan with his mom. He had a plan. Um, he had a date uh, to end his life. They reached out to One Call, One Click, a CHEO-related service helping children and families get the urgent help so they need. We're at with school now. Like last I spoke to you, you were finishing off your co-op. You're still doing a co-op? Natasha Holtz, the team lead of CHEO's mental health intake department, answering the call. She had helped Pablo before. I remember a youth that expressed a sense of hopelessness who had been navigating the mental health system for years. How are things going at home? Beyond Pablo's despair, Natasha saw courage and vulnerability. His resilience to everything that he's experienced and felt and still being able to reach out and look for help and ask for someone to be there for him was really remarkable. How are you finding that? During his night of crisis in March, Natasha and Wendy encouraged Pablo to see his therapist for vital guidance. She brought my mom in and told her that she needs to take me to emergency and get me admitted. We just knew it was time to go and, and we went. He was in trouble. He was in big trouble. Was, how long ago was it that you did that test? Helping Pablo and other children in pain, Dr. Josh Smalley, a CHEO specialist in child and adolescent psychiatry. Much of the work that I do is around supporting youth and their families when young people are struggling with suicidal thoughts. And um, often when young people are coming to our services, they're feeling very hopeless and they may not feel that life is worth living. What this test tells us is how your body processes different medications. Emergency and crisis teams work with families, help them leave CHEO with practical, accessible resources. A lot of good things. Coping skills and strategies to manage emotions. Hopefully they leave more at ease knowing that there are people that want to support them and that care for them. I like to come here. Caring people who listen. And that's what I really wanted out of all of this was someone listen to me. I'm not feeling good. I'm asking for help. I want to know why I feel this way and I want to know what the plan is. And that's what we leave with when we leave CHEO. Pablo is able to leave CHEO after five days. Sure, there are still challenging times, but he's here planning a future and thinking of others like him. Hopefully more resources and money can go to Six East and we can build a better life for people who are really struggling and get more help for the people who really do need the help. Mental health has never had all the resources we would want, ever. COVID has exacerbated that. The need has grown just exponentially. So donations from the community are extremely important in helping people feel more hopeful for the future. 
and for parents and children feeling hopeless during an acute mental health crisis. Help is there. Reach out. Ask for it. Do not be afraid. And for that courage, a precious and incomparable gift. Living. Sometimes it's just living. Living.